right, folks. Uh, here's another video I want to share with you uh, on another you know episode in the series that I did where I traveled the Levy Roads and crossed some of these old cool uh, bridges. This one is the Paintersville Bridge, and it's north of the last uh, bridge that I did, which was the uh, Isleton Bridge. And it's another Joseph Strauss bridge. It looks really, really similar to the uh, Isleton Bridge. And it crosses Steamboat Slough, which I'll link in the description down below. There's a lot of history to this. It used to be called Middle Fork, and it was a, uh, a place where the steamboats and paddle boats would go through uh, between Sacramento and San Francisco. It's kind of neat. There's a lot of history to this uh, this bridge and this slough in general. And I'll link some of that in the description uh, of the video. And okay, so this bridge, uh, bridge was built in 1923 and rehabbed in uh, I think it was 1952, and they put a whole new control tower or control uh, room on there. Um, it's all been redone and, and modernized inside there with electric and automated opening sequences, um, according to some bridge websites I've visited, and I'll link those in the description down below also. But this bridge is in really pretty shape, and there's some work, uh, some signs you know, on the bridge that say that it's closed intermittently for work. And, um, you know, as we kind of travel around the bridge with the drone, you can see that it's in really good shape. I mean, um, yeah, look at that control operator's quarters. I mean, it is, it's brand new, uh, as opposed to like the Isleton one that you could certainly see there's some more age to it. Um, you can look at that steel deck also, and that's originally was a wooden deck, and that's been replaced, I guess, probably when they rehabbed it in 2000. But, you know, this this is a really pretty bridge. Um, and as we get in tighter here with the drone, you can see, you know, it's really clean. The concrete on the back counterweight does have quite a bit of patchwork done on it, it looks like. And I'll show you something else about this concrete later as we go toward the other end of the bridge. It just raises a couple questions, uh, something I've never thought about before. But look at that nice roof, man, that yellow. <laughs> Yellow's an awesome color, man. Love it. You can't help but look at it and not be happy. You know, and this is just a pretty part of the Delta right here, too. This Steamboat Slough, there's a big, big history on it, and it's really cool. Uh, you guys should read that link in the description. Uh, there's the steel deck, like I said, replaced with a wooden, uh, from a wooden deck. And, you know, we've got the ladders going up there and the, you know, the same type of uh, bridge that, you know, like I say, Isleton Bridge is. And it also has those white uh, crisscross, you know, um, railings on there. And also you can st see here the sign. It says Steamboat Slough Bridge. Uh, which is, you know, a really cool sign. And we slide across the bridge here to the other end. And uh, I want to show you a couple things here. So down below on the right of the frame is the history of the bridge. But the concrete here, you know, you can see some patchwork done. And right where this, right here, where the beam goes into the concrete is where most of the you know, patchwork scene. But look at all those extra bricks up there. And I saw this on another bridge too. And those, they look like skylights, except they're not windows. I wonder if that concrete block is like solid hollow. I mean, solid filled or if it's hollow um, or what those skylights would be for. And those metal plates down there on the, they look like some sort of access panels or something. I've never seen that before, but uh, at any rate, and those loose bricks on top. I mean, could those be the fine you know, the, the little, you know, uh, weights that make a difference for the bridge to operate more smooth. I, I, I don't know, but uh, I saw some bricks like that on the other bridge as well, but kind of neat. But look at all this, the same as the Isleton Bridge, um, all the crisscrossing patterns. And look at that grease fitting up there, how it comes out with a 90 and goes straight up so they can grease it from the top up there. That's pretty cool too. <laughs> little details like that are, are pretty neat to be able to pick out and and look at, but you know, it'd be neat to be up on top of that bridge, man, looking looking out across the, the delta there. It'd be pretty neat from from that vantage point. But all that nice, you know, crisscrossing lattice kind of looking um, you know, design. I don't know what you call it, but it's just really pretty. And, you know, it really looks like it makes that bridge strong. And see those loose bricks there? <laughs> you know, it kinda 
kind of neat. And and those top covers, I'm not sure what they are, but I wonder, like I say, if it's solid concrete or if there's a hollow area in there. Uh, but at any rate, you know, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely look at this, uh, the description. I'll put some links in there about the history of the bridge and some other cool places to check out some facts. You can see some more of the patchwork right there. If you haven't liked the channel and subscribed already, uh, please do so. It really helps me out. Um, this is, like I say, a, a photography channel where I focus on photography and, and I do drone stuff also. But, you know, I'm always bringing new content. And uh, this is just another video in the series that I spent the day in the levee roads of California doing a bunch of uh, different drone work and still images. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching to the end. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure if it's going to be another bridge one or I'll have some other stuff lined up for you guys. But check out this, man, as we pull away from the, the shot. How pretty that is, man. <laughs> you guys take care.